All right, time for nuggets of knowledge. The match is in the title. I'm tired of saying it. Tabletop start, hands on X's or marks, and you have the gun over the X on the table. Let's watch it. We'll talk about it. Are you ready? First stage of day two. All right, nothing really spicy on this stage. I just, no movers, no steel. Um, some difficult targets at the last position. Let's start from the beginning right here. First of all, these tables. I'm gonna be honest, in the opinion of Keith Tyler, I hate these tables. The tops of them are slippery. The guns, especially the open guns and PCCs with stuff hanging off of them, they just weren't, to me they were a safety risk. I did not like them at all. Uh, for speed steel, I understand they're a great table, but for our game, a piece of carpet on top of that table would have made it way safer so the gun couldn't slide. When I attack the gun in this position, I'm hoping I want to get two hands on the gun first here. So I go with a two hand grab. Let's break it down a little closer here. I have another YouTube video just on this. I want the right hand, my strong hand, to get the fingers in front of that trigger guard, or, or excuse me, in front of the front strap of the pistol first. Then I lift it up into my hand a little bit. This keeps me from swinging that muzzle behind me when I leave the position. I'm going to do a different video on just that because I saw plenty of it. I come into position here, get the gun up, slide in here. As you can tell by my movement, a little stiff, first stage of the morning. We shot 12 stages the first day. I was sore. Little happy feet in here. My feet were not smooth. I needed to just pivot over with this foot directly. I didn't. I get in there and get a little move, extra movement in here that did not need to happen. It cost me time on transition and I couldn't shoot as fast. And you'll notice I'm wearing a big floppy hat. The sun was very low in the sky and a ball cap wasn't working. Leave the position. I do a step out turning this foot into a travel foot at the same time I break the grip on the pistol because I don't have the flexibility to run towards the left on a flat line and keep the muzzle safe and I basically drive the elbow in the direction I want to go get my shoulders around two hands into position very much a partial then a long shot here didn't want to load my feet too early and risk shooting a bad shot there drag the gun into position Notice, as I'm moving backwards here, gun you can't see the gun. Gun is pointed in this direction here. The left hand comes around to meet the gun, not the right hand coming to the gun. Brake foot. Need a little more knee bend there. But I come into it pretty good. I'm loading up the rear foot so I can drop out of position when I go. Just lift the foot up a little bit here and drop my weight forward. The reload wasn't necessary, but there was nothing else to do in this run here. I wanted to do something to better my position. So I come in. These last targets, I get to come in on a full target, which was very nice. That's why I didn't shoot from back here. But once you come in, I got a partial. You got another partial. You can't see it through my big fat head right there. The one I'm shooting at way down here is a partial, like half target, and then you have another partial over here. So this last position had some difficult shots, so I took the time to come in, use the wide open target as a setup target, to settle down, get my make sure my you know everything's running right and balance is right, triggers right, and then just prep and press across the whole array, collecting points. Wasn't worried about being super speedy. This was one of the few stages that exposed you to a lot of tough targets in one spot. Most of the, a lot of the stages were wide open. This one was not. Hope you enjoyed it.